on this month's show, we want to focus on our signature event, and that's our Excellence in Customer Service Award Gala. So we're going to talk about EICS. That's right, Carol. And it's now in its 18th year, and I'm going to talk to one of the co-creators of this event, who happens to be none other than my co-host, Carol O'Dell. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's so nice of you to join me. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> you are a very hard guest to book, I'll tell you. Um, now, you created or co-created this event um, almost two, gosh, when I think of it, two decades ago. Mm -hmm. um, what was the inspiration for this? We wanted to help improve the community. We wanted a tool that would help the community. Okay. And so that was our uh, primary mission. Okay, and how did you um, envision that Excellence in Customer Service Award, or the Excellence in Customer Service Award, would do that. Okay. What, what does it, what does it uh, take companies, um, what process do they have to go through to make our community better? Okay, well, it helps them have better customer service. Which is super important. That means they're going to treat people better. And yeah. the big vision really care was, about that. is that someone come, flies into our city, mm -hmm. jumps in a cab, gets great treatment goes to a hotel, gets Great fabulous, treatment. yes, and then goes to a restaurant, gets mm -hmm. wonderful treatment, goes to a meeting. So all of this, you know, it helps the community, it helps the companies, yeah. and it helps the individual. It certainly helps economic development and tourism when you put yeah. it that way. I mean, yes. I've been to cities like that where I felt just warm and wel welcome the minute I got on the plane, I remember going to Boise, Idaho, and I was like, gosh, everybody's so nice here. It's such great customer service. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was, that's sort of the idea. Yes, that was now, behind it all. Okay, great. Now, what, what do companies have to do, and who's eligible, and who can apply, and how many winners? Tell me the, some of the details of it. Okay, it's a long process. A long process, okay. Yeah, and so they have to have data, and they have to have collected that, trended it, trained around it, so they've improved the company and it just goes all over again. It's just constant, continuous improvement. So there's really, it's really a qualitative kind of program yes, where they have is. to document. Yes, Do, they have to kind it of, can't be a gut thing. They have oh, to okay. prove that they know what the customer is thinking and wanting. Okay, so they have to also prove, and don't we have independent evaluators help yes, us? Yes, yes, and then the next step is after they do the application, mm -hmm. which takes several hours, then we have trained evaluators who they look at it over the summer. It takes months. And then wow. they go in and do on-site interviews. Okay, like a site visit to the physical yes. place. Okay. Yes, there'll be several of the evaluators who do that. Then okay. they come back. And the exciting part of all of this is then they get a written report. Shows what they're doing well and where their challenges are. Oh. So that they, and they get all of this for just a it's few, only hundred, few hundred dollars, yes, right? Instead it, of thousands and thousands. Because a lot of companies would hire a consultant, and that would probably be in the thousands. Mm -hmm. So every every company that participates gets like a feedback report on yes. how. Okay, wonderful. And then that night of our big gala. Yeah, we have a big dinner, a big yes. party. Then they the recipients are announced, and oh, it's there's real, more than one. Well, it depends if okay. who. It all depends on what company meets the criteria. Okay, so it's like it, it's not are competition. Com as I say, they're competing intrinsically or internally, yes. competing with themselves, correct? Not with the others. I right. like that idea. Yeah. yeah, and it is so important that, and people find it extremely valuable that they go back and they do it uh, again and again. Like Champion Windows has been a recipient three times. Yeah. And uh, the library did it twice. Mm -hmm. I they think said Oral Surgery Associates is a three-time yeah. recipient even, not just participant, but recipient. So companies do this all the time. Mm -hmm. But the library said it changed their entire culture, that it really, it's that powerful. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And what do they get? Do they get to use this in some way or say like yeah. we are the winners of? Yes, they can say they're a recipient. Mm -hmm. Of the EICS mm -hmm. They award. can use that okay. because the customer wants and, to know that too. Right, exactly. Now, how, what, what do we do if a company is out there and they want to apply? Do they have to be a member? They do not. Oh, this that's is a, good news. This is about the community. Okay, so this is all of Southern Colorado and the 25 counties that we serve. If you're a business out there, you can, you can apply, right? That's right. And can um, anybody 
nominate a company or how does that? How they can, they can encourage a company, but the but company really has to be, uh, they, they really have to want to do this. Right, because it, it is a lot of work. Yes. But the one good thing before we wrap up is that we do offer workshops to help them write the application yes. and all of that. Yes, so. or they could just call us or email us and say, we're interested. Mm -hmm. uh, could I meet with you? Could oh, you yeah. give, give me some uh, clues yeah, as how we'll, to go forward? We'll actually offer some good customer service. There we go. Right. Okay, Carol, thanks so much. You're welcome.